What's going on guys? I'm in chill out mode. How's everybody doing? Just chillaxing. What's on everybody's minds? Just thought I'd pop in here real quick, see what's going on. What's on everybody's minds? Who's up? Looks like the trolls are still putting up my stuff on YouTube. Looks like I got some couple trolls watching me here. We'll see who's up. Eight, six people watching, huh? Rory Vegas, how you doing? You want to come on cam? Cheryl Lynn. Miles Moore. Randall Robertson. Brent Mish. And who's that person? Rory, how you doing? <clears throat> what is going on, folks? What's on everybody's minds? You know, uh, I tried talking to you on Marks, but you don't know I was on panel. Uh, I don't know. I saw you on Marks panel the other day. I wanted to talk to Glamorous Life. She gave me her number. I texted her, called her, emailed her. She never called me back. I don't know what's up with her. It's kind of weird. Talked to her on Mark's panel. What's going on? You want to come on camera? How was your birthday in December? I was just working. I worked from May... I was working at my job from May the 10th to December 22nd. So I was working. <clears throat> so I'm just chilling right now, just in chill mode. I've been trying to look for uh, a girl to hook up with online. i just been taking a little break from going over the border, trying to figure out what I can find online, going on Meet Me. I try to go on Facebook dating, but it won't verify my face. I don't know why the stupid thing won't verify my face. So I've been using Meet Me and just sent a bunch of girls messages and they complained about me, about copy and pasting this message. And basically, I, I'm kind of on a 20-hour ban on Meet Me. Meet Me is, with a, I think, the best uh, free dating app actually out there. But there's a lot of spams and bots on there, so... I was trying to find a local girl, see what was in the area, you know, and uh, now I'm kind of out of commission. So what's going on with you, Rory? <clears throat> I'm in El Paso. Um, just chilling out, I'm just in chill mode. Just wondering what's going on in everybody's mind. What's new? I haven't really been keeping up with the headlines. I've just been chilling out. Just chilling out. Uh, you can buy a house in Mexico for like $300. Might be a good deal to plug in the Lisa Marie. Well, I've learned a lot about Mexico since I've been down here. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting. I've been to a bar here, it was an LGBT bar, and I got a beer for $1.45 American. I've been to another bar where a Dos Equis beer was $1.70. <clears throat> I've been to another bar where the beer was $1.95. I've been to another bar where the same beer was $2.53. And I went to another bar where there was a strip club where the beer was $3.85. So it varies on where you go. Uh, it's very interesting to learn the prices in Mexico. My internet keeps skipping, really? Well, I'm on 5G internet. I don't know why it's skipping. Should be 5G. <clears throat> but anyways, I've heard from a lot of people that you can... Uh, there are some really sleazy motel rooms that you can live in for $6 a day. And you can actually have your own room. Um... 
and um, I've just it's been interesting to to find out all the types of living situations but um, and I saw a hotel room where they were charging three hundred and thirty six dollars uh, a month there's some flea bag like hooker hotels where you can live in a room for six dollars a day uh, I've heard people of living in apartments for 75 bucks a month, 100 bucks a month, 150, 200 bucks a month. Um, rent here in El Paso, from what I've heard, is about $600 a month. But um, I've heard people say 350 to 500, but I'm not sure. So um, El Paso is a really safe place to live. It's a nice place to live. Um, so I don't know. It's it's a nice place. It's a nice place to live. Very nice place to live. <clears throat> yeah. So anyways, I don't know. I'm just chilling out right now. I'm just chilling out. I've just been hanging out in the van all day. Just didn't feel like getting out and doing anything. I don't know. I just I just I'm just kind of laying low. Just kind of laying low and chilling out a little bit. Tried to figure out what I could find on this dating app on Meet Me, but like I said, I sent a bunch of girls messages and copy and pasted the same message, and somehow they banned me for like 20 hours. So I was trying to hook up with a local girl, but uh, didn't have any luck. I was just trying to figure out what's in the area here. Not that I really want to chase American girls, but you know, just wanted to see what was going on. Just get a little change from going over the border but i love mexico much more for meeting girls than here it's really hard to meet girls over here with um now prostitution is not legal in texas and it's a federal crime and uh, it is what it is <sighs> i don't find anything here in vegas under 980 a month they have 100 square foot studios for 780 well yeah the cost of living in vegas is higher the pay rates are higher i don't like las vegas i i, I really hate from what i saw albuquerque i don't like albuquerque but uh, the jobs pay much higher in albuquerque than they do in el paso from what i've seen the pay rates um from what I saw in the area that I was in in Albuquerque, it was really, really bad. I did not like Albuquerque. But, uh, it is what it is. Um, I think gas went down a little bit as far as the barrel. Hopefully Biden's going to get something worked out with some other countries and bring this gas price down because you know this is ridiculous having it at uh, four bucks a gallon I mean I can handle three bucks a gallon but I mean you know this is ridiculous having it over three and a quarter three and three and a quarter you know that's what that's what it's been like most of the year basically and I even seen it in Chicago anywhere between 292 a gallon so we need to try to get this gas down under uh, three bucks a gallon will be nice. I only like my family in Las Vegas. I'd be happy to move if they wanted to. I don't like Las Vegas. I don't. I don't like Las Vegas. I don't even like Las Vegas to visit. Um, I, I really don't like it. I think it's it's uh, overpriced. Um, some of the buffets I enjoy. I did enjoy some of the buffets uh, and the choice of buffets. And I had went there to, to get my van in 2014. So it's kind of fun going to the buffets and the variety of buffets. Um... As far as the nightlife in Vegas, it's not for me. A lot of it is overpriced. And um, 
I had more fun actually in New Orleans. Um, uh, it's 490 here. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Over the years going to Vegas, I just, uh, you know, I don't think it'd be somewhere I would visit again. It really just did not appeal to me. It really just did not appeal to me, you know. So, that buffet to Asia and Arepas are good price-wise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the price was, was okay. The price was okay over there, yeah. I don't know, um, um, I don't know, like I said, I just, I just didn't like Vegas over the years, going to Vegas, you know, I just didn't like it, I think that, um, uh, it's expensive, it's overpriced, and, uh, it gets too hot in the summertime, and it's pretty much too cold in the wintertime. Uh, in my opinion, uh, if I had to pick, um, let's just say between Vegas and Phoenix, I'd probably pick picks Phoenix over Vegas, but I haven't spent any time in Phoenix, but just because of the weather, it's probably a little bit better there, it's more south, warmer, you're closer to the border, um, Maybe it's a lower cost of living a little bit than Vegas. I'm not sure. The price of cost of living is going up in Phoenix also from what I've been hearing. Because everybody from California is going to Phoenix. You know. Mount Charleston is good for van dwelling. I'm not into rural areas. I'm an urban nomad. So, um. When it's 115 here, it's 79 there, yeah. But I'm into being an urban nomad. Yeah, I, I just, I don't think Vegas appeals to me to live in in an apartment or to come in as a van uh, dweller or even to visit. I just, there's no appeal to me in Vegas because the nightlife in Mexico is better. The weather in Mexico is better. The prices in Mexico are better. Um, the only thing Vegas has, to me, is all the buffets. And it is fun going to the buffets and checking those out for me, but, but that's about it. I think overall, Houston, Chicago, um, Los Angeles, uh, Tijuana is going to have better food than Vegas, cheaper and better food on the cheaper side. Nightlife's going to be better in those places, the weather's going to be better in most of those places. Yeah, so to me, I really don't have an appeal to Vegas. I really don't have an appeal to go out of my way just to try a buffet, unless I'm passing through. You know, unless I'm passing through and I'm just on the road and I want to stop off and get a buffet... That's about it. I think you're better off moving to uh, here to El Paso. It's a great place to live. Or Phoenix. The weather is better. The cost of living is better, especially here in El Paso. It's a lot cheaper than Phoenix. I think it's a better place to raise a family. You're close by the border. you got the nightlife of Mexico. The people here are nice. And it's safer overall. I heard it's good money taking junk down to Mexico to sell. Some lady cleaned out my shop to sell in Mexico. Well, if I were you, I'd move to El Paso. Why? The cost of living in El Paso is lower. Or you could even live in Mexico cheap. I talked to a guy who... Uh, owns a four-bedroom home in Mexico, and he's only got a $683 mortgage. So you could live in Juarez cheap, 
try to become a Mexican citizen and work in El Paso, make the money, you can still send your kids to American school and have the best of both worlds and, and, and learn how to uh, uh, get the best bang for your buck. The weather is better here than Vegas, the people are nicer, the schools are better, it's safer, it's overall a higher quality of life. Uh, yeah, it gets hot over here. Yeah, there's dust storms from time to time, but you know what? There's It's in much better shape than Vegas. There's not as many homeless people. For the size of the city that it is, there's not many homeless people. Cost of living is better. You get better deals in Mexico on a lot of stuff than here. So, I like El Paso, you know. Um, I like it. I like El Paso, Texas. I like Houston, Texas. Um, but I like El Paso. And uh, I haven't been to Phoenix. I really can't make a call on that. But uh, I like El Paso. El Paso is a cool place. If you want multicultural, Houston's not a bad place. Um, but the cost of living is higher there. So... Phoenix drivers scared the crap out of me. I only drove at night there. And they're not they're not aggressive here. Yeah, I've learned a little bit of Spanish. Cuantos pesos. Uh, cuantos pesos por 30 minutos. That means how much do you charge for 30 minutes? I only learned the key words for prostitution. Cuantos pesos por una hora? How much do you charge for one hour? You know, I just learned learning the basics, you know. I'm just learning the basics. Cuantos pesos por Trenta, trenta, trenta minutos. Cuantos pesos por una hora? You know? So I'm just learning the basics. So anyways, um... How much is a lady down there typically? Well, I have I've visited the massage parlors and was just checking the prices and the ladies told me 600 pesos, which is about $30 American for an hour. Now, does that mean you get a happy ending? Does it mean it's full service? Do you have to give her a tip? I don't know. But that's the going rate to get in there in the room for th for an hour. Now, what you get for that hour is I uh, I'm not sure. I've been told full service, but I'm not sure. As far as the girls on the street, they can charge and they're skanky anywhere between ten to twenty to thirty to forty dollars. Some of the girls that are in the clubs that are good looking, um, you know. A lot of them want to charge you at least a hundred bucks for an hour, or or um, or a hundred bucks for a half an hour. A lot of girls they want to overcharge, so different prices all over the place. I've gotten you know a lot of girls are asking for a hundred dollars now. Um, I think they want a hundred bucks for an hour is what they want. Doesn't mean they're going to get it, but that's what they're asking for. So, um. Even if it's a massage, it's like 30, 50% off American massage on low end. Well, these aren't really real massage places. There are real massage places that give you a real massage. And I don't know what the prices are there. These are really, it's really a, a brothel. You know, it's, it's, you know, they're not really pros. But it is what it is, so... I'm going to be investigating some of those. I'm going to take my 100 milligram Viagra. I'm going to try not to masturbate. 
which is hard. And try to go over early one day. Because they say the Viagra takes about an hour to kick in. And it's only good for uh, four hours. And uh, <coughs> see what happens. So, yep, let's see who's up, let's see who's on here, Rory Vegas is here, Matt Love is here, R.C. Robertson is here, Miles Moore, I don't know who the hell Miles Moore is, I think that's R.C. Robertson. Anyways, guys, I don't want to stay on her long. I just thought I'd just pop in real quick, see what's going on. Just in chill mode, man. I'm just in chill mode, just chilling out. I'm just in complete chill mode, you know. I'm just in complete chill mode. I just didn't feel like doing anything today. Sometimes there are days that are like that. I don't know. I just... uh Want to chill out, man. Just thinking about my future and what's going on, but I just, I just wasn't motivated to do anything today. You know, I just wanted to chill out, just chillax, 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 chillax. I want to get through the month of March. It's a nasty month in Chicago. I want to put March behind me. I know at least things start warming up back at home around April. I just can't stand December, January, February, and March. Four bad months in Chicago. April, things start to kind of shape up a little bit. So I'm just looking to just get March behind me. You know, the winter months are in the Midwest are not a good friend to a van life. So, hopefully we'll get Mars behind us here, and uh, figure out what the hell I'm going to do. Just chilling out, man. Just in complete chill mode, you know? Just chilling out. Anyways, guys. I'm going to go ahead and pop on out of here. I thought I was just going to pop in here for a little bit, see what's going on. What everybody, what's on everybody's minds, you know. And, uh, we'll talk to you guys later, man. You know. I think Rory's back. They got any good bathhouses out there? <laughs> yeah, there's a bathhouse I heard about called Istanbul, out of all names. Um, if you want a good bathhouse, go to Hot Springs, Arkansas. Go to the uh, Hot Springs. You get a real bathhouse there. You get to immerse yourself in the Hot Springs. But anyways, um, I don't know. I just felt like coming on here and chit-chatting a little bit. Um, it's about midnight my time. I just did not feel like doing anything today. I just didn't feel like doing anything. I just wanted to stay static and just chill out, man. And, uh... Just stay static and chill out, man. I guess I'm probably going to be chilling here for most of the month of March. Just chilling, 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 man. And um, getting through this winter, man. You know? Just chilling, chilling, chilling. 
when I come back on YouTube, I'm not coming back on YouTube. If I do come back on YouTube, I'll come back as a mongering channel, but I won't tell anybody about it because the trolls keep on following me and harassing me on YouTube. So if I ever come back, I don't think nobody's going to know about it. But, um, yeah. I'm just chilling like a villain, man. Trying to get through the month of March and uh, figure out what the hell I'm going to do. Once March is behind me here, I'm going to have a clearer picture of what I'm going to do. Probably get back home to Chicago. Um... And grind away at it. Another year. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> Russia. I don't know what Kiva's hope means, Russia. St. Patty's Day is coming. So what's up with you, Rory? I thought you were going to school to be a lawyer, and Rosie showed some sort of a shop that you opened where you're selling stuff, and uh, I don't know. She was showing that you're selling some stuff, and you had a shop, and you're supposed to be going to school to be a lawyer, and and I see you popping on on Mark Terry's hangout from time to time. I don't know what's going on with you. But, um, I am, I am, and I have two shops. That's cool. So, um, have you lost weight or gained weight? Are you still eating bacon? What have you been eating lately? Did you lose weight? Did you gain weight? Let's see who's watching. I got 10 people watching. Tim Jones. Jason Matthews, Legas Bowers, I don't know who the hell that is, Miles Moore, I'm 800 pounds, nah, when I first met you in 20, was it 2015, you didn't have much of a tummy, and your boobs look more natural. And you weren't as chubby in your face and your neck. After 2015, well, I mean, even I wasn't as fat as I am now, but uh, for some reason you put on some pounds after that. And I put on pounds too, but we both put on pounds. Um, you know. I don't know why, but we have. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a large mange. Marge. Yeah, it's kind of boring now. Nobody's really doing any more hangouts. G Mangos is doing them and Mark Terry, but they're kind of lame. So nobody's doing any more hangouts anymore. So, you know, I just thought I'd come on here and see what's going on. But, um, yep, everything is going up in life. Prices, 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 man. Unbelievable.
Everything is going up. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pop on out of here. Um, I want to thank everybody for popping in. And um, just want you guys to know I'm doing all right. I hope you guys are doing okay. Uh, just a quick pop in. I might pop in later again. If I feel like it, we'll see. But, um, gotta figure out what the hell's going on in life. You know? Gotta figure out what I want to do. But now I'm just in freaking chill mode. And I like it. I just like being in a chill mode. And that's where I'm at right now. Just a freaking chill mode. Alright guys. Hope you have a good night. And we'll talk to you guys later.